check out my new favorite channel. It is so good. Oh my god. Look at it. Good morning. It's 7 o'clock and it's time to wake up. Good morning. Our second day in Kyoto. It's really early. We're going to start today really early. And uh, I just found out that we actually have a little balcony. So, hello. The weather is really nice. Check this out. It's so green also. And um, yeah, today is going to be whoopee. <laughs> a very busy day. We hope to see a show in the evening. We're not sure if that's gonna uh, happen, but we we will try. Uh, yeah, come with us. Let's go. Tetsugaku no Mishi, the path of philosophy, takes its name from one of its most famous strollers, the 20th century philosopher Nishida. In the north of northern Higashiyama sits one of Kyoto's most elegant sites, Ginkakuchi. A temple which was initially constructed in 1482 as a retirement villa for Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimasa, who desired a place to retreat from the turmoil of civil war. With a meticulously raked white sand cone, symbolizing a mountain and a lake out front, its name translates to Silver Pavilion, as the Shogun initially desired the building to be covered in silver. This was, however, never realized. Following the death of Yoshimasa, the villa was converted to a temple. The first floor is built in a traditional residential style known as Shouin and the second in the style of a Chinese temple. The bronze phoenix on the roof represents Kanan Buzatsu, the goddess of mercy. Golden ice cream! Kakuji is Kyoto's golden pavilion and one of Japan's most famous sites. A 1950s reconstruction of a retirement villa of the Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, originally built in 1397. 
This time the name is actually fitting, as it is covered in brilliant gold leaf and sits next to a large, beautiful, reflective pond. Yoshimitsu's son converted the villa to a Zen Buddhist temple, and centuries later, in 1950, a young monk who could not stand its incredible beauty burned it to the ground. The pavilion houses relics of Buddha. The Sekate Tea House was built in the Edo period and the Fudodo houses a stone statue of the Buddhist deity Fudo Myo-o. It is thought to have been made in the 9th century by Kobu Daishi, the founder of the Shingon sect of Buddhism. The nearby Ryuanji temple belongs to the Rinzai school and was founded in 1450. It contains one of Japan's better known sites, a rectangular rock garden with 15 carefully placed rocks amongst a sea of white gravel. The surrounding walls are made of clay boiled in oil, which seeped out over time, causing the peculiar design that is seen today. It was probably created around 1500 by the highly respected Zen monk Tokuho Zenketsu. The Kyuyochi pond was made in the late 12th century, where until recently many mandarin ducks could be seen. From there we took a taxi to Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. This is a particularly beautiful grove of thick green bamboo stalks that sits by the Hotsugawa River. Situated right beside the bamboo grove lies Tenryuji, a major temple of the Rinzai school. It was built in 1339 by the shogun Ashikaga Takauji in memory of the deceased emperor Go Daigo, who was raised here. Zen master Muzo Soseki was appointed the temple's founding abbot. The temple suffered eight different fires over the centuries, so the current buildings date back to 1900. The Zen garden, however, retained its original form from when it was designed by Muso Soseki and it is one of the oldest and most beautiful in Japan. It is a good example of shakei, borrowed scenery, as it utilizes the backdrop of the Arashiyama mountains. Thank <laughs> you. 
After taking a small train back into the city, we visited the area of Gion, the famous entertainment and geisha quarter. Its origin lies with tea houses that cater to weary visitors on their way to the nearby shrine Yazaka Jinja. But by the mid 18th century, it was Kyoto's largest pleasure district. The streets are lined with 17th century traditional restaurants and traditional lantern lit tea houses. Here is a good place to spot geisha on their way to work. She's like on a mission. On a mission. Sorry. Oh, the cameraman spoke. カドウは仏前にお花を供えたことが始まりですが、室町時代に池の子を専門が池花として成立いたしました。その後、茶の湯の普及とともに茶室に花を飾るようになり、やがて一般家庭にも普及しました。現在では、カドウは日本ばかり